because you're who you are, God. We bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in our mind. Have your way in our heart. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way in the atmosphere. Have your way, God. Have your way tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we love you. Hallelujah. Glory, God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, God. Hey, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your way. We surrender tonight. We lay it all down. We lay it at your feet. Thank God, for in your presence, it's the fullness of joy. In your presence, it's where we want to be. In your presence, it's the fullness of joy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, lover of my soul. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It can't a man. Hallelujah. Yeah, glory. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Build the temple. Build the temple. Build the temple. Build this place, God. Build it, oh God. With your presence, God. Build this place. Move, oh God. In the atmosphere. Move, Lord. Move by your spirit. Move by your power. Move, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you done, Lord, for me. Your blessings and glory and honor. I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you done, Lord, for me. Your blessings and glory and honor. I just want to thank you forever and ever and ever, Lord, for all you died, Lord, for me, your blessings and glory and honor. just want to thank you, Lord, forever 
and ever, and ever, Lord, for you die, Lord, for me. Hey, oh, blessings and glory and honor. Just wanna praise you, Lord, forever and ever, Lord, and ever and ever and ever, Lord, for all you done, Lord, for me, Lord, your blessings and glory and honor. Wanna thank you, Lord, forever and ever and ever, Lord, for all you've done, Lord, for me. Your blessings and glory and honor. Lord, for all you've done, Lord, for me, your blessing and glory, Lord, and honor, they all belong to you, blessing and glory, and honor, Lord, they all belong to oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
and thank him. If he's been good to you, give him a praise tonight. Let him know how much you love him. Let him know how much you appreciate him. Oh, come up with those hands together.
if it wasn't for your grace I don't know where I'd be without you and if it wasn't for your love if it wasn't for your grace I don't know where I'd be without you Lord you're awesome Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for his love, if it wasn't for his grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for his love, if it wasn't for his grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. You know he's awesome. I know we're a little bit in nimble. But come on, anyhow. We bless him anyhow. I got an anyhow praise. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome.
worthy of the praise unto thee, O Lord. Do we lift up our voice? Unto thee, O Lord. Do we lift up our voice? Unto thee, O Lord. Do we give glory? Do we give honor tonight? We reverence you in this place. We glorify you in this place. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. How excellent is his name. How excellent is his name. How mighty is his name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to his name tonight. Hallelujah. For in his presence is the fullness of joy tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need thee. Oh, hallelujah. We need you tonight, God. Hallelujah. We need you tonight, God. Oh, we bless you in this place. We love you, God. We love you. We love you. We love you tonight. We love you tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you tonight. We need you, God. Hallelujah. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reach out to me, you are my strength. 
Father, we thank you tonight. We praise you, we bless you, we magnify you. We glorify you tonight, God. You're such a good God. I, you, 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 God, I just want to thank you tonight. God, if I had a thousand tongues, I couldn't thank you enough. I, I, I just appreciate you tonight, God. Oh, God, as I walk with you, as sometimes you'll carry us through a valley or the shadow of death, but God, it's only because you got a table that you're preparing in mind. And then you said in your word, you'll prepare a table before us in the presence of our going through. So, Father, I just want to thank you tonight. I want to bless you. I want you, Holy Ghost, have your way. Teach us. Uh, sanctify us more, God. Uh, get us on your page, God. God, get, get, us to, get us to line up with heaven tonight as we, as we walk down this path of life to pursue the things that you have called us to do. We, we, we're just trying to answer our calls, God. And so tonight, God, I just ask you to have your way. Holy Ghost, come in your own way. Use me for your glory. Father, I yield to you. I, I, I tap into you right now, Father. Oh, speak through this mind of mine. Speak, that think through this mind. Speak through these lips of clay. And God, I praise you and I, and I magnify you and I glorify you. And I say hallelujah to your name. Now, Father, I pray for no distractions tonight. I pray that we are zero in on the word to hear what you got to say to us. Well, I don't know what you may be saying to nobody else, but God, speak to me tonight. Holy Ghost from heaven, you never miss me. Tell me what I need to know. Guide me by your spirit. And I want to thank you, Father. I want to I wanna bless you, and I want to praise you, and I want to magnify you. It's in Jesus' name that I say amen and amen. Come on, somebody, just put their hands together. Give God praise tonight. Hallelujah. Gl glory to God. Glory to God. I want you to... I want you to go in your Bibles. I'm excited about the word tonight, and I'm, I'm just so thankful for, for uh, God and what he's doing in my life at this time. Um, if you would, go with me to Romans 5 in the New King James Version. R Romans 5 in the New King James Version. And we're going to go ahead and start at verse number 1. And then I'm just going to let the Lord have his way. Y'all don't know. Y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. Boy, y'all just don't know. I, I'm telling y'all, I, I, it's going to come out tonight. I pray somebody get it. I, I pray somebody get understanding tonight. I, I, pray somebody, I pray somebody get what they need tonight. And um, you, you're in Romans 5 in the New King James Version. Uh, I want to start with verse number 1. Let me start with verse number 1. And I'm going to read it, and then we're just going to let the Holy Ghost expound tonight what it is that he has to do. Um, I don't know if anybody understands. Um, this world will eat you up. I, I don't know if anybody really understands. If you, you play around with this world, this world will eat you up. It will, it will, it will have you whether you don't even know if you coming or going. If, 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 you're not, if you're not rooted in God here now, if you don't know his word and, and if you don't understand what's really going on, you will miss God so many times. But I pray tonight because, see, I'm learning to walk slower with God. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost coming up on me. I, I, I'm, I, I'm a, I learn how to walk slower with God. I, I'm, learning, I'm learning how to be sensitive in the spirit. And I'm learning how to have them ears to hear. And so I don't let winds and waves move me. And I thank God for what he's done in my life. And I thank God for what he's doing in my life right now because he's teaching me more and more. I'm growing more and more. I'm getting deeper and deeper in him. And, 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 and I thank him. I'm just not caught up in the blessings that he's blessing me because I ain't stuck. Let me just say that. Uh -huh. I'm not stuck. I, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to keep up to where God's trying to take me. Good God Almighty. And I'm trying to understand everything he's trying to get me to understand while he's taking me. I don't know if we really understand that manifestation comes in courses. Y'all better hear me tonight. 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 Manifestation comes with courses that you have to take. You, 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 just, can't, you just can't think you're going to manifest and you don't take the necessary courses to get the degree you're trying to manifest on. Let me tell you why. 
You are representing God. And God says, there's no way I'm going to let you manifest without understanding how to represent me in your manifestation. Because your manifestation ain't for you. The last I check is for God to get the glory. Uh-huh. So now, now we're going to see how God does this thing tonight. And I'm so glad because y'all, what the Lord has been showing me as he prepared me for higher heights, as he takes me to higher heights, I, I'm just, I'm so honored tonight. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually privileged tonight to be able to stand, to be able to speak this word that if somebody pay attention and got enough sense to listen, they are past this class now. You in, you in Romans with me? Romans 5 in the New King James. Um, verse number 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have what? Through God? Through, through, whom all, through whom also we have access. We have what? Access. By faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, not only that, not only are we going to rejoice in this glory, but not only that, but we also glory in what? In what? Knowing, listen to this now, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance. And perseverance produces character. And character produces hope. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God, the love of who? God. Has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was giving unto us. Father, I just say, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way tonight, God. And I just bless you and I praise you and I thank you. It's in Jesus' name that I say amen and amen. Just somebody give God a shout of praise as you take your seats. Let, 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 me, let me take my time tonight because God says, I want you to glorify in tribulations. Now, wait a minute. That don't settle right with most people, no way, because uh, tribulations is not something that we glorify in. And, and, and you know, we're getting ready to have this marriage encounter and, um, on tomorrow, and um, I just figured that I might as well go ahead and start tapping into it uh, early on tonight to help you maximize some things in your life because God says, before I can give you what you've been wanting, I have to carry you through a process. I got to carry you through a process. And this process is going to come starting off with tribulations. Now, we don't like tribulations because tribulations challenges us. Tribulations is problems to us. But God says, I, I, I'm sending these tribulations to, to, to see can you persevere. And, and the reason why it's so hard to persevere because as you persevere, something else is being developed in you. Oh, y'all, y'all, come on, y'all with me now. As you persevere, something else is being developed in you. It's called character. What kind of person you are? What kind of wife you are? What kind of husband you are? What kind of man you are? What kind of woman you are? You got integrity? What about honesty? How you treat people? Hold on, hold on. God says, I bring trouble. I bring trouble and then see can you persevere through it because I'm trying to develop something in you called character. Called character. God, 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 God started messing with me. He said, you preached on perseverance, but I want you to preach on character. I said, what do you mean? And, and, and God took me through something this week that messed me up. It messed me up. I, I mean, when I, when I say, he, I was just driving down the road, Mother Horn, and you know what he said to me? He said, what's more important, what's more important, the elephant or the ant? I, 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 I said, what'd you say, God? First of all, hey, ho, glory to God, I know his voice. I, I know his voice. I know when he's speaking to me. I said, say that again, God. He said, you heard me. What, what's more important, the elephant or the ant? I said, what, this some kind of trick question? I ain't hear nothing else. In the middle of that, my wife calls me. She said, hey, babe, how you doing? I said, I'm doing good. She said, can you stop by the store and uh, get, 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 get me some uh, cotton uh, uh, swabs for praise? I said, sure. I said, sure. She said, you know, go, go to the medical store. I said, no problem. So, so, so I go to the medical store, and, and I go in the medical store, and I ask the guy for some swabs. He said, sure. He said, they're $5 a, a pack. Stay with me. Stay with me. He said, they're $5 a pack. I said, okay. I said, uh, give me four packs. 
He said, okay. He said, you must be taking good care of somebody, ain't you? I said, yeah, it's my daughter. I said, it's my daughter I'm taking good care of, man. I said, yeah, man. I said, she, won't, she was born with one pound and, and two ounces, man. I said, she wasn't supposed to live outside the womb. He said, how old is she now? I said, she's 25. You know, and I'm in my 50s now, so, you know, I started pulling out pictures. I said, here she go. Here she go. He looked at her. He said, what's her name? I said, praise. He said, I'm going to knock 50 cents off. I said, well, praise God. Well, hallelujah. I said, then he said, you seem so jolly. I said, look, man, I try to keep my spirits up. He said, so what do you do? I said, I'm a pastor. He said, really? I said, yeah. He said, I'm going to knock 50 more cents off. I said, well, shucks, I need to keep talking to you. She said, you, you, since we, you knocking stuff off, I, I'm doing, my, my mama told me I could always talk. I said, I, I need to keep on talking then. And so, and so he finished, and he said, man, you have a wonderful day, and so forth. And I, I got on the phone, and I told co-pastor, I said, you ain't going to believe this. She, she said, what? I said, man, got to talking to the man, telling him about praise, and she, he knocked off 50 cents a bag. I said, then I told him I was a pastor. And he knocked off 50 more cents. She said, well, glory to God. I said, ain't God good? I hung the phone up. I go down the road, and God says to me, what's more important, the ant or the elephant? I said, you got both. He said, so tell that $4 testimony like you tell that million-dollar one. I said, oh. he, said, he said to me, he said, what people's problem is, they miss me because they so after the elephant till they miss that I'm God of the ant too. He said, see, I need to teach you something right now, son. He said, I need to teach you something right now. He said, because what you don't want to do is step on the elephant while you's trying to climb on the elephant. Oh, oh I'm slow there. Huh? I said, don't, make sure you don't step on the ant while you're trying to climb. Make, make sure while you're running after big that you, that you don't forget small because the devil is waiting on this. Key test, keynote, keynote, keynote. Why is the devil waiting on you to miss small? Because it's in the small foxes that spoils the vine. <laughs> key test, key test. This is where we miss it. We miss it in the small, running after the big. God told me, he said, this is why many people can't maximize their marriage. I said, why they can't maximize it? He said, because they don't pay enough attention to the minimum. He said, he said, when you, he said, in order to get to maximum, you got to maximize the minimum. I said, okay, God, I, I hear you. He said, he said you, you may complain about the big things that, 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 that your spouse don't do, but, but what about the small things that she do do or that he do do? Do you, do you, throw, away, do you throw away the whole thing because, because, because your eyes is, is, is on the elephant and you forget about the ant? The Lord told me, he said, you better start thanking me for small things. He said, won't you start appreciating your spouse for th small things? There's something that co-pastor do. She don't even know, she don't even know I'm going to say this tonight. She don't even know I'm going to say this tonight. It's some small things that she do that just takes that marriage to another level. It, it takes that marriage to another level. She don't even recognize it. She did it today. She don't even know how important it is to me. And let me tell you what that is. There's not been a time that I've gotten home, took a shower, and came out the room and go into the bedroom and the sheets and the bed is turned back. You know how you can go into a hotel service and they have a turn down service? Somebody know what I'm talking about, a turn down service? That, that, she does that every night and it just messes me up because it lets me know I'm ready for bed too. We are ready for bed. Let's forget every day. And that, see, it sets a at very small, very small. But because it's, it's so small, what, I, what we don't realize is it maximizes our intimacy and our communication just by preparing the atmosphere that way. Something that small. You'll be surprised if you go pay attention to detail in your marriage. It's the small foxes that's spoiling the vine. It's the little stuff. Not the big stuff. What about the little stuff? Do you pay attention to the little thing? Huh? What about the little man? What about, what about the ant? What, what about the ant? Why, watch this. What, what's more important to you, shaking the hand of the president of the United States or shaking the hand of that homeless man on the street? See, because shaking the hand of the president of the United States is important to you. <laughs> huh? But shaking the hand of that homeless man on the street is important to God. I want to know what's more important. The elephant or the ant? I want to know, are you stepping over the ant, stepping on the ant, trying to climb on the elephant? Oh, and the Lord told me to tell somebody, your marriage won't a mistake. You just need to stop making mistakes in your marriage. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> That's what the Lord told me to tell somebody. Your marriage won't a mistake. No, you just need to stop making mistakes in your marriage. And you know what mistake you make? The small foxes. It's the, it's the small things. See, 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 we're in a place now that God says, I'm trying to produce some character. Where your heart really at? Huh? Where your heart really at? Is your heart for compassion for others? Or is it about what you can do for you and your crew? Huh? God, God says, I, I want to I know. I want to check you. What's more important to you? Climbing up on the elephant? Or, 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 or making sure that the end is okay? Wh which one do you pay attention to most? Huh? What, what moves you? Because see, man looks at the outward appearance. But, but God says, I'm looking at the heart. And what I want to know is, watch this. Can I trust you when you get up on the elephant that you won't stamble over the ants? That, that's, that's what God said. The, that, that when I do bless you, you won't think you're better than somebody else. You, you won't become too good to reach back and go back and get somebody that was just like you. Don't forget you was an ant too. I, 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 I trip off of people that get blessed. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it overseer. Because before I started pastoring, I was living the way I'm living now. I don't, I don't know if people really understand. No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get into pastoring trying to be a millionaire. I didn't get into pastoring trying to be rich. No, I got into pastoring because God told me I won't go be wealthy and then not go back and get somebody else and show them how to come out of jail and rise to the top too. That's my job. See, see, I can't get to be on top of an elephant and then forget the daggone ant. Character. Character. That's why God says I'll break tribulations and see if you persevere. Because see, every time you persevere, I'm carving something out of you. I thought when God told me to go back and work for my father to learn the business, I thought he was trying to teach me the business. Later on, so you got to walk with God a little bit. You, you see, 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 some stuff happening right now you don't understand. But, but the old folks used to say something. They said, you'll understand it better by and by. Then they used to say, say stuff like this, just keep on living. What, what they really were saying is keep on persevering. You, you're going you're gonna to see. You're going to see. And I'm telling you right now, you can pick and choose when you're going to cry your tears. You can cry them now or you can cry them later. It, it's up to you. You can go ahead and let God do what he want to do now or you, can, or you can skip processes only for it to catch back up with you later. I know don't nobody want to hear it. I know, but God says, how are you going to represent me and if you don't pass this character test? How are you going to represent me? What, you too good now? See, I couldn't get in my big house and act like everybody else was losers. Like, won't nobody else in jail. Like, won't nobody else marriage messed up. Like, I've always been here. Character. God says, this is the thing. Why I lie. He said, I told Peter. I told Peter, but I told him, when you are strengthened, go and convert your brother. See, see, what I'm realizing is God kept me in that store. God kept me in that store. Only to have that man to talk to me that way. Only to have me to experience. And then the Lord told me, he said, oh, and then give me glory for the double I just gave you. Huh? I said, that is double, ain't it? Oh, no, God. Look, I'm not going to wait till you give me the elephant before I cry double. I'm going to give you praise for giving me this $4. I praise God all day long for that $4 like I did ahead of, like I had a $40,000 check. No, 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 no. God, God says, no, let's, let's get back to why it all begun. What was the reason for I healed you? What was the reason why I set you free? What was the reason why I raised you up? For you to do what? For you to have... For you to have enough sense to, man, look, we're ready to go out to Fulton and, 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 and let, let's not get it twisted. That was us at one time. Sometimes we forget all about where we come from. I, I believe we forget all about who our people was. I, I believe sometimes we can, we can get so far out there till we miss the picture of why God even brought us out. God told me you preach on character tonight. He said, you preached on perseverance last week. He said, but I want you to preach on character, and we ain't got the whole. He said, see, if I can get your character right, how you really feel? How, how your heart really is? 
Do you really got time for people? Or are you always so busy and got things to do yourself? Do you ever take time out your schedule for anybody? Do you, do you, no, no, no. Watch, oh Lord. Because yeah. everybody like to put on the show. I wonder, did you recognize anybody at your, at, 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 in your lunchroom that may didn't have no lunch? They just reading. And what you may not even know, they might not even have no money for lunch. But you ain't know how to play it off and go over there and say, girl, what you doing today? Shucks, I think I want some tacos or something. You want one? Shucks, I'll be, tell you what you want. I'll get a fight. You, 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 you ain't even got to go say you ain't got no money for lunch. Because let me tell you something. I remember that, see, y'all want to act bougie. That's all right. Y'all go ahead and act bougie. No, y'all want to act bougie and you're better. But let me tell you something. There were many days I went to work with no lunch money. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, many days and scraped up lunch money. I, no, y'all don't want to hear it. I remember when, when Big Bites went up at 99 cent, and when I went in there, I got the chili, the cheese, the relish, the mustard, the onions, and the salsa, because we had to make this a meal. No, 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 see, see, I keep stuff in me. Oh, my God, I keep stuff in me. I make sure I keep that one-bedroom apartment in me. I make sure I keep being on welfare in me. I make sure that I, I, I don't get so big that I forget about the ass. See, God, God ain't got a cat. I know what he's doing. God says, because I'm getting ready to take you even higher. But before I can get there, I need you to take character tests. You're not better than nobody. I don't care how much money you got. That's why I don't let people with money talk to me in any kind of way. I had to deal with this multi-millionaire. He probably was a billionaire. And I remember Bishop Robinson said, what you say? I said, I told him what I had to tell him. Care how much money you got, you can't take none of that with you. Ain't no Brinks truck behind no hearse. And the truth of the matter is, when you get more than enough, it ain't nothing for storage. I mean, how many cars you go drive? How many houses can you live in? What is more than enough? I got more than what I need. So what the rest of us for? For me to be selfish with? For me to, they always said you can know if, how, this is how you know you can handle money. It's when you got it, how you treat other people who ain't got it. And when you ain't got it, how you, how you look to people who do got it. That, that's that's, that's cause, because a lot of people don't understand God is watching your character. What, 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 what kind of person are you? Are you a person that's all about yourself? Or is you a person that, 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 see, you can't, let me tell you something. And in marriage, you can't be selfish. Not if you want the maximum. No, in marriage, you're going to have to get yourself in a position where you are willing to give even when you don't feel like it. No, nobody will hear what I got to say. And that's good. That's good. I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't preach for likes. I don't preach for popularity. I preach for results. I preach for results. Because if you listen to what I'm saying, stuff will change in your life. I had to get my mind and eyes off of me in order for my marriage to work. I couldn't keep concentrating on what, it, what she didn't do and what I needed her to do and where she won't at it. I had to get my mind off of my needs. That's the only way I could persevere. I had to start looking at the, at the other side of it. Maybe if, it maybe if I go ahead and give what I need, what I need, if I go ahead and give it, maybe that's how I get it. So that's what I started doing. I started loving her like Christ loved the church. To the point, there were some areas that I had to die in. Huh? I had to die in for the church. I, I had to die in. I had to, I, had to, I had to just go ahead and sop it up as the man. No, no, y'all. No, it's always going to be something you don't like. There's always going to be something that's going to rub you the wrong way. I'm trying to tell you not to, not to, let, that, not, not to let that piece right there, ru, 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 that thing that rubbed you the wrong, watch, watch this, that thing that rubbed you the wrong way, I'm trying to help you not let it steer you the wrong way. Do you know after you done lived a while, really after you done lived a while, you got to live a while now, you got to live a while. You know after you live a while, you start realizing what you used to complain about really won't that important anyway? Huh? Huh? You, you, you really start, what? I mean, I, I, I know in my life, you know, it won't, it, it, I, I know, all right, I just, as transparent as I can be, I know in my life, my, my, when my kids got grown, my wife stopped, stopped cooking. And I don't know if, if she cooked every day even when they weren't grown. But I can, I can tell you this, I used to complain all the time I said, I said, you know, a man want a good meal when he get home. Watch this. And that used to be my biggest hang up. 
Now, I never, I miss the fact that she's a clean freak, that I've never walked into the house in a dirty house. I, I, I miss the fact that, that, that she's taking care of the kids, she, she's taking care of the daughter, she's she taking care of the business, she's taking care of church, but I'm coming home, and the only thing I'm thinking about is me. Y'all won't hear me. See, this is the stuff I talk about right here. Right, Y'all won't hear me. Only to keep living. Only to keep living. And just to find out I can't even eat like I, 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 I want, I, even, I, I shouldn't have been eating like I was eating then. I, what I was craving, uh, it wasn't no good for me then. You know, because I wanted to come home to pork chops and gravy. Mashed potato. You don't know. Y'all act like y'all looking at me crazy tonight. I had my, I was in my feelings. And, and watch this. And, and that's the way I roll. Now, somebody said, well, what's wrong with that, Pastor? Well, nothing wrong with how I was feeling. But I couldn't let it, how I was feeling mess up the rest of my marriage. Now, now, now we mad the whole night. Now we don't, no, see, y'all, we got to get mature now. See, 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 I'm trying to tell you, them little small things, if you don't watch it, you, 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 you'll, you'll, you'll miss God. You'll miss God only paying attention to what you want. And see, this word right here, see, well, you, don't, you don't get, see, this is, see, character, you got to start dealing with yourself. Mm. I remember when God was just dealing with my character. I remember I went into the bank, cashed a check one time, and I came out the bank, and uh, it was $200 more than what the check was. And I said, yeah, I count the money. I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm supposed to be with six. I said, maybe, I, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm in the parking lot. We broke now. I'm in the parking lot. I said, I'm going to count it three times. I ain't lying. I'm going to count it three times. I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four. And my heart started beating. I said, the Lord done bless me. I said, Lord, good God Almighty. I said, let me call Keisha. I said, let me tell her how the Lord done bless me. And I said, I said, babe, you ain't going to believe this. I said, the lady gave me over $200 over uh, what, what the check was. I said, you see how good God is. She said, that won't God. I said, what do you mean? She said, you know that lady got to pay for that when her draw come up short? I said, really? She said, that's right. She said, you need to get that back in there. I said, huh? Character. Character. Uh, who, who, what you like when ain't nobody looking? Watch this. And then, I didn't go back in there. Let me help some people. And go get the manager. Oh, uh, the lady over there gave me $200 over. No. I went back to her line. I went back to her line. And I just slipped the $200 to her and said, you gave this to me. She said, thank you so much. And I walked on out. I walked on out. Character. You know God was testing me then? No, no, I remember. I remember one time. I remember one time. I don't know if y'all remember this. Uh, uh, Brother Brandon. Well, you remember Isabel? Remember Isabel? The storm came through? I'm going to deal with this tonight. We're going to take this class tonight. You want to manifest, you need to take character. You remember Isabel? Let me tell you how God. That was back in 2002, I believe, when, 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 when. Was it Gaston or Isabel when it came? Yeah, it was Isabel, because we was in Aruba. Huh? Because we couldn't get, when we was in Aruba, we couldn't get back to Richmond because all the power was out. Sure was, I'll never forget it. Watch this. And I remember it was storm damage everywhere. My phone was ringing off the hook, and all of it was insurance claims. Insurance claims is no bidding. It's, you call it, they, and, that's, and that's what they gonna haul. And during that time, it was so many people with trees on there, folk didn't care who you was or where you was, they wanted the trees off their house and, and, and people was price gouging. And, 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 and I had a job, lady called me, she had three trees on the house. I said, well, you're gonna take my crane to get it off. I said, you know, that's 5,000, you know. Long story short, I charged her about $3,000 more than what I should have charged her, right? If I won't dare, if I won't dare two and a half hours, y'all come get me out this food pit. I was grinning and skinning and grinning. I said, boy, I done made me some money and I done made me some quick money. Only for my machine operator to walk the machine to the, to the low boy and run over a fire hydrant. Water shot about 50, 60 feet in the air. I said, look at this here. Oh, they had to call the county out. It was the biggest mess. Anyway, the, I, you know, of course, I, I knew a little bit something about it. We got everything fixed. But, 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 but guess what it cost me? It cost me the $3,000 that I had overcharged her. 
And the Lord told me right then, he said, I don't care who it is, what situation it is, or what time of day it is, you be fair in everything you do. Don't you charge somebody more than what they're supposed to be charged just because you can get it. He said, you be fair. He said, in this way going forward, I'm going to deal with your character before I bless you with anything else. Who you in it for? Do, 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 do you offer your services to help or do you offer your services just for you? See, see, God will start this. That's why he says, I'll bring tribulations to produce perseverance. See, I know what God is doing in my life right now. God says, I'm trying to get you ready for more, but I need to make sure you don't step on the ant trying to climb on the elephant. That little man is important too. That one that you don't think. That, 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 that one that maybe not be the most popular. Huh? I remember I called out Brother Brent the other day. I know him and he loved Brother Brandon. He told Brother Brandon, I'll say, Brother Brandon, I'm going to go to Dave and Buster. <laughs> Brother Brandon said, Brother Brandon, I don't, play no, I don't play video games like that. He said, Brother Brandon, Brother Brandon I'm going to go to Dave and Buster. He <laughs> kept calling on back. Uh, now, now, watch this. If this was a field trip for the youth, some, that, he, could, he could really say, hey, I'm leading and doing all this. Way. Hey, you mean, but, but, but nobody see this but God. Nobody watching this but God. See, see. See, 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 in God's eyesight, that ant is, I believe he more God in the ant than he is in the elephant. I remember when God told me, he said, he said, he said, I applaud you for going around the world on mission trips, going in Brazil in the, into the, into the bungalows and going into the bush. He said, and, and, and I applaud you for how you pastor and persevere and, 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 and teach and, and show people how to, how to get to the next level in their life. He said, but I want you to know, with all that that people see you do, what I'm watching is how you treat your daughter. Good God Almighty. That can't walk or talk. What I'm watching is the one that can't do nothing for herself. That, 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 no, I'm looking at how you treat her, and nobody else see you and how you treat her. See, I, I, that's why when the man said, you must take care of real good, I, 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 I had a piece in me to say, I'm doing what God told me to do, because, see, I know what's important to God. See, it just ain't the elephant. Good God Almighty. It's, that's why I do what I do. See, I could be very comfortable right now. I, 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 could, I could be very selfish right now with my life. With my life. And just do what I want to do, how I want to do it, because I was already blessed. But the Lord said, I didn't raise you up like that. My character won't let me look down on people. My, my character make me have a heart for the brothers that's still behind bars. Not get out of bars and forget where I came from. My character don't let me do that. That's why I preached in the prisons for so many years. My character wouldn't let me do that. And there's some more things that God says I'll shape your character with. See, because you got to watch when you ain't got time for the little man. Because he may not have much to give you. You know, you, know, you walk past people, ain't got much to give you. You know, you, you know, I know pastors like that. You ain't got nothing to give them. They, I know pastors like that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they'll tell you about a big crowd, but try to have a meeting with them. Hmm? Try, try to have a meeting with them. They ain't got time for you. But, but let, let them tell you. We had a line up around the, around, around the corner, Doc. I'm talking about character. See, 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 one thing I learned a long time ago, I learned this from Bishop Robinson. You thank God for the small stuff. I learned that from him. I don't, it, was a, it was a little VCR. I don't even think, I don't know what kind of camera it was. Just, just, we got the VCR, and, and man, he act like it was a, 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 I don't know what he act, like it was Christmas. And, and, I, and I realized then, I, I really, God was just trying to show me then, see, you can't get so big that you forget small. God says, because I'm God of the ant too. And when he asked me that, I really didn't know where he was going. And when I went into the store, he said, you better stop paying attention to the small stuff. What about the small stuff that she do? I can complain about a lot of stuff, but what about the small stuff that they do? What, 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 what about the stuff that may not mean a lot to others, but, 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 but it means something? See, see, you can't look at what you do as so small like it don't matter. Huh? I don't care. I don't got... I, 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 man, my God. You, you know, I, I tell you, I look, when I, when I was an elder at Mount Gilead, I served on 12 different ministries. What? Yeah, 12 different ministries. I, I, I was over 12 different ministries, but watch this. It won't the ministries that I was out front. 
But it was the ministry that I was behind the scenes that I loved the most. See, 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 that's, that's what I could do my best work. I tell you, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, God will look at what you do when ain't nobody looking. God will look at how you talk when ain't nobody around. God will see really where you at, and he'll really deal with you right where you at, and he'll make sure, because see, if God don't deal with you now, with your character, and you manifest to the next level, you will use your prosperity as a weapon against people. Wow. You will use your success as a weapon. You're going to let people know what you got and what they ain't got. See, that's how you're going to separate yourself. But what you ain't going to say is we all going to die and we all going to leave everything we got here. Huh? What we don't say is we all don't borrow time and we don't know how much time we got. That's what we don't say. See, we will say things that separate us, but we won't say things that are made. Because you ain't no, I don't care if you're an elephant, you ain't no better than that. You ain't no better than that. That's why I love missions. It gives you a chance to show you that ain't everybody got it like you. Huh? When you see people that got to go to the river to get water. And, they, and all they ask for is a well for their community. And here their children open up a bottle of water, drink half of it, put the other half on the counter. Then you don't even know who done drunk the water. Because it's so plentiful. And, and, and guess what God told me? Start teaching them character. So they won't think they're privileged. And become spoiled brats. He said, you want to, you, I tell you what, you ain't got to look too far in the news if you want to see money with no character. Huh? You, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got to, you ain't got to, we got a presidential race grade to come up. You ain't got to look too far if you want to see money with no character. Huh? See, see, God wouldn't let me forget. You know, you know, and I, and I, you know, I was thinking about that today. Because I used to approach that in many different ways when people used to say, don't forget where you come from. I said, well, I ain't trying to be reminded. Huh? I, I'm not trying to be reminded. You know, because don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to stay where I'm at. Don't get me wrong. But I, but I believe God was really trying to say is, look, don't, don't forget how, how far I brought you when it's come time for you to go get somebody else. Don't, don't, forget, don't forget somebody else trying to learn how to stay married too. Huh? Don't forget somebody going through stuff. I look at your, I look at men. I look at men sometimes, and I look at the things that they 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 may complain about and so forth. I, I kind of chuckle at it because I remember when I was there. I, I remember when I was there, and I I remember, and I think we all will go through territories. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all don't want to hear me. I think we all will go through territories where we were questioned, did we make a mistake? You don't got mighty quiet. They don't got mighty quiet. That's why I get in trouble. That's why the prophet always catch it, man. I ain't lying. The prophet always catch it. But you know what? God will use the prophet. You know David, when, you know when Nathan went to David and he told David about that story, about that man, and David said, that man should be killed. Now, and then Nathan had to say, David, that man is you. Watch this. David was so convinced in his own sin that he didn't think nothing was wrong with him. Do you know how many people do things said things and act a certain way and don't think nothing wrong with it? Do you know how many people that are in themselves and don't think nothing wrong with it? Huh? Do you? Oh, I agree to say so. I, I agree to say so. See, I've talked to my wife. Lord have mercy. Huh? I've talked to her. I, I let her know, hey, what are we doing here? Huh? We communicate. In other words, in other words, it's not all right for us to go too long without connecting with each other. No, you know, that ain't all right. It ain't all right with me. No, and I'm letting you know what we're doing. Oh, uh, you don't got to stand you, ain't you? That's why I, I said stuff like that. You don't got to stand you. Boy, leave me alone. You don't got to stand you with yourself, ain't you? Uh-huh. That's, that's how I do. I just, it is, you know, because see, because see, I know what's all right with God and what ain't all right with God. In, in other words, I'm not going to walk around. Oh, my God. Nathan had to show David something about himself that David was so stuck in his demonic way that he thought he was all right. Isn't it something that you could do something wrong for so long that you don't think nothing wrong with it? What kind of character is that? And then when God comes show you another way. I remember, I remember, I remember me and my wife, we just couldn't work together. Can I say it like I feel like it? Y'all let me be me. Hell no, we couldn't work together. We argue every time we come in the office. Every time. Every time we come in the office, we couldn't work together. I don't know what it was. 
I don't know what it was. We just, we just clashed, man. And I remember I was talking to another guy who was on a way higher level in business with me. Way higher level. Huh? That's why I said, don't let students check your test. Go to another teacher. Uh-huh. I told him, I said, man, how you work with your wife? I said, because I want to knock the heck out of mine every morning. I said, we get to arguing before we even get to the office. Uh-huh. I said, ha, 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 ha. I said, how you do it, man? I said, I see you and your wife flow. Ain't that somehow you can see somebody else flow? You think yours, your marriage is a mistake, but you don't know you're just making mistakes in your marriage. And then somebody come along and try to teach you how, where you make a mistake at. Don't be so prideful that you don't listen if you want to stay married. You hear what I say? And, and, and why would I go take uh, notes from a divorced person uh, on, on marriage? What? What? I remember I went to him. I said, man, how you, how you get your wife to flow with you like that? He said, very kind. He said, first of all, do you take advantage of the relationship? I said, look, first of all, I ain't asked you to tell, ask you nothing about me. All right? That's the first thing. And what you mean, do I take advantage of the relationship? He said, how you talk to her? Do you talk to everybody else like that? Or do you think you could talk to her a certain kind of way because you can get away with it? I said, she make me mad, though, man. He said, don't the rest of them make you mad? But do you raise your voice at them? See, y'all don't want to hear the truth. Down here. I'll tell you how God developed my character. Huh? You know how you keep a lot of peace in your house? That word called babe. <laughs> Good God almighty. That's a, that babe. Oh, I don't know what kind of what that do. That, that keep the atmosphere right. Yeah. Babes ain't nobody mad. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. hey, babe, you know, I ain't lying. I didn't know that, 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 word, that word right there. It, it keeps stuff. See, I had to learn how to talk to my wife. See, you don't get nowhere. Let me tell you this, help you. You don't get nowhere. And this is the thing. This is the thing. I, I was just helping uh, one of my friends. He had to uh, 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 lead a town hall meeting the other night, right? And, and he had to be a part of it. He was, and, and he was talking to me, and I was just giving him some pointers. I said, don't let it go west. I said, you know, I said, you got to tell people from the get-go, listen, we're not going to be loud. We're not going to get up. So we're not going to take this conversation off track. Because, see, when you start raising your voice, you, you're getting further and further from the point of conversation. Now, because now you're defending instead of uh, uh, amending. You, you understand what I'm saying? So learning how to talk to each other is, is, is something very key. And I'm going to be honest with you. I had to learn how to talk to my wife. I had to learn how to talk to her. She's not no man. She is a female. Now, even though, watch this, and you would say, well, she shouldn't come at me rough. Here we go. Here we go again. What's more important, the elephant or the ant? Huh? Huh? What's more important, the elephant or the ant? Huh? You gonna act the way they act, or you gonna take the low road? Are you gonna show the right? See, I, see, see, this right here, this right here will start fixing stuff because our character is off. And we don't like to take classes like this because these classes, see, this is why God told Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house and, and get on that wheel because what I want to do on that wheel, I want to do with you. And God says, you ain't going to make it 30 years talking to her any kind of way. I know don't none of y'all ever get mad. I know, I know, I know don't nobody raise the voice in the house. That's why the church can't get right, because the church won't get real. Wow. I ain't lying. Wow. That's why people can't get set free. Because everybody want to act like everything all right. And then, hey, I come along and I went through some stuff, some tribulations that did produce perseverance, that did produce character. And, and, and now I'm experiencing what that hope is, because that hope does not disappoint only to find, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to tell you how to get there. Your marriage won't a mistake. You just got to stop making the mistakes in marriage. <laughs> uh, and one of the things that Pastor Key had to learn, you can't help me the way that you want to help me. Right. Right. Is you that? <laughs> then, you, then I'm working for you. Mm -hmm. Then you my head. If we're going to work together, I need you to understand, I need you to help me the way I need you to help me. That, 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 and this is how we need to do it. And, 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 and this is not a place where, where you, you got to treat this just like this is a job too. So don't, don't, don't come to work 30 minutes late. Don't take advantage of the situation because you, 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 in other words, show, you know, you, you, no, if, you, if they ain't right in the office, you got them right yet? In, in other words, are you showing them right? Because let me tell you something about a leader. I beat everybody to work. Do you hear me? I met, I met, I met, I met, where, where we was in, we was in, we was, where we was at, a uh, Lowe's, Lowe, Lowe. now he lived right beside Lowe's, he lived right beside Lowe's, I live in Hanover, I told him, I said, man, I come from Hanover, I'm here for you, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here already here, 
Uh-huh. Because see, 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 cause what, what am I saying? Uh, uh, you, you, there comes a time where you're going to have to be what you want. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, I, I just don't understand it. And, and I thank God because I look at the areas, look at the areas we done miss God trying to climb the elephant, and we, and we, missed, all, we missed the whole ant. We, 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 miss, we missed the one that God says they mean just as much to me too. See, I, I thank God for giving me a heart check. <laughs> just, just making sure that making sure that it ain't all about me. Just, just making sure that that, 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 that my wife understands it ain't all about her. That 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 that, that we got to live to give back. That, 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 that's, that's, that's called a distribution center. I, see, and God says, I need people to understand, before I manifest them, they need to understand what the manifestation is for. A lot of people want it, but don't know what it's for. They think it's just for them. No, it's not just for you. No, 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 God says, I develop you so you can go develop somebody. Don't forget who came for you. Don't forget who, that God sent somebody for you. No, no, no. I heard, I heard, I heard of uh, Ben Campbell. Ben Campbell said this to me. Ben Campbell said this to me. Ben Campbell was the man that uh, worked with Bishop Robinson to get this transit together uh, for the city of Richmond. Been working on it for years. And uh, had a chance to meet him and talk to him and so forth. And I asked him, I said, man, what drives you? What's your passion? You know what I really was asking him? I ain't never seen a white man go this hard for poor people, black people, Hispanic people, minority people. I never seen somebody like you push so hard for the underdog. He said, that's the only reason why I'm free, to go back and get somebody else. He said, but you know what the problem is? I'm seeing a lot of people getting free and forgetting about everybody else that's still in bondage. Somebody else still in bondage. Somebody else still don't even know how to come out the world. Somebody, somebody else still asking God, show me how to get from this. And, and you know something? For those who have been through a lot, I, I tell you, for those who have had dark histories, do you know you're the one that God want to do the most work through? Let me tell you why. You have capabilities that other folk don't have. You know how to deal with people other folk couldn't deal with. See, when you done experienced some stuff and you done had many trials and many tribulations, you got a broad capacity to understand people like never before. And sometimes God will carry you through stuff so you will have compassion for people. Some of you all, you know, you know, if you ain't never been through nothing in your body, you may not have compassion for somebody that got something in their body. See, the doc, see, 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 I, 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 I had to go and sit with cancer patients. You, you understand what I'm saying? See, but, but watch this. You, you, it shouldn't take somebody who, who may have been there to, to have compassion. Why can't somebody that didn't never been there have compassion for that? And in other words, in other words, God said, do you care about anybody else but yourself? And a lot of times our frustration is coming from we, 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 our minds is on the elephant too much. And we miss God. We miss God in the grocery store. We, we miss God. We miss God. We miss God at, 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 at Starbucks in the morning. We, we miss him. And God says, I need you to slow down now. Because I'm trying to show you some ants that I love too. Good God Almighty. I'm, I'm trying to show you some, I'm trying to show you some small stuff that I'm in. See, 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 don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, I live a big life. Watch this. And the bigger my life gets the smaller stuff I pay attention to. In other words, the bigger my life get, the more I pay attention to small. The more I pay attention to how I treat that small man. The more I pay attention to how I tip that waitress. I'm very cautious of what I leave for a tip. I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I make sure that I don't leave a disrespectful tip. I No, 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 because see, my mama used to be a waitress. And that's how she brought, made groceries for us, was by her tips. So that if she didn't have no tips, we ain't have nothing to eat. Uh-oh. I wonder what was being shaped in me right then. What? I wonder what he was shaped. See, all my life, I believe God was shaping some stuff in me. Then I had to watch my mama work three jobs. 
I watched her work three jobs. I used to watch her come home and her feet so sore from staying up all night, waiting tables, and she only get a few hours of sleep, but she back up again, going to her day job and just work all the time, all her life. And I remember saying when I was in the sixth grade, my wife ain't going to work like that. Character. Now watch this. I was feeling this way, and I hadn't even met co-pastor. It wouldn't have matter what woman I married. My character already been shaped. It didn't matter because I saw my mama work so hard with no help. I had a different compassion. I, I didn't want to see my wife have to work like that. So I had a, I had a character. And I, I remember when, when, I, when I used to work for my dad, he was so abusive to me. Look at this tribulation. He was so abusive to me. And I wanted to quit every day. And I remember asking God, why is you letting me go through this? Why do I have to go through this? He said, because I don't want you to treat nobody else like you being treated. Because money bring pride, boy. And you might think you can say what you want to say, do what you want to do, and act in the kind of way you want to act and get away with it because you got money. But I'm going to make sure your character is produced first. He said, and I'm having you to go through this so you won't treat nobody else that worked for you like this. I said, Lord, have mercy. Character. You work for people don't want to pay you no money. Everybody that worked for me, let me tell you what I always aimed to do, was to give them a bonus, two vacations, and a raise every year. That's always been my heart and intention. Not to get all I could get out of a person and work them to the bone and make all the money and be scot-free. But I always had their interest in heart. My problem is I hired too many people that won't qualify because they needed a job. Instead of hiring a person for the job. Y'all don't want to hear me. I just tell you some mistakes I made. Stop feeling sorry for people. Huh? I don't learn to make them qualify. Because watch this. They need character too. Because if you give them before they develop, they may miss a process that's going to mess them up later. And people wonder why they act the way they act. Because they never corrected it back here. And all it did was show it up here on another level. Character. Do you pay people back? Well, somebody alone, you know, you, you, you forgot me. Or at least do you call them and say, look, I ain't forgot you. I just ain't got up with you yet. No, y'all don't hear me. If you did something wrong, do you go back and correct it? Or you just let it be? When you do somebody's job and you didn't finish it right, or you didn't do it right, do you, have, do you hang up, do you not answer the phone, or do you call them back and get it right? I had a man call me. I had a complaint to come in the other day. And, and the man was complaining that, that, that some mulch and chippers uh, hit his vehicle. So I called, I called my man in charge. I said, what happened? He said, I, I did it. I knocked on the door, this and that. I put up all the safety gear, all the shields. I said, I'm going to go check it out. No lie. I get to the job. I'm hot now. I'm, I'm like, God dig it. This, I don't need nothing else to be going on. I got enough. I, don't need. I get there. And I said, what is this man complaining about? I said, this man ain't complaining about nothing. Something that's not got on his car. Now, I wanted to call him and say, how petty can we be? That's what I wanted to do. Character. I take the low road. I said, sir, we apologize uh, uh, for that. How about if I get you a, a, a full detail at uh, Carpool, uh, uh, the Max, uh, uh, Carpool, and get your car washed and waxed uh, for you? Uh, that'd be fine. He said, oh, that'll be great. I said, no problem at all. And I'm sitting there saying, now, do I have to do that? Could I have said, man, won't nothing wrong with it. We could just sit here and argue. But watch this. I learned that ant could turn into an elephant. <laughs> that ant, I'm, here, I'm, 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 I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. That ant can turn into an elephant. Some things could be handled on a small note if you go ahead and take the low road and handle it then. Instead, I'm trying to give somebody wisdom right now. See, see, we, we want to run. We want to hurry up and get. And God says, this is why I'll slow you down and carry you through steps, because I'm watching your character the whole time. Do you call people back? Huh? Do, 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 do you respond back? Do you, do you at least let them know? Do, if you're not going to be somewhere, do you let them know you're not going to be there? Or you just, what you do? Character. How do you handle people? Are you, are you, you I, I know we all got a lot going on, and we may forget. Watch this. Can you call somebody and say, I forgot? Can, can you at least let me, let, let, let somebody know that? 
In other words, watch this. If I'm running late, can I, I, all my, see, I learned about punctuality. Punctuality is big. My dad taught me about it. He said, people that got money ain't got time for you. So, so I had to think about me on time. But watch this. Sometimes, sometimes you can be running late. But do you call people and give them a heads up? Because I know I'm going to be late before I be late. I know I'm late before I left home. If I know I'm late before I left home, then I need to go ahead and let them know I'm 15 minutes from the time I'm supposed to, just so you won't be upset or have to wonder. You, you, you're in character. Do you let your husband know where you're at? Or do you just go all, go where you want to go and go, I wish co-pastor would go out the house without telling me where she's going. Oh, Lord, I shouldn't have said it like that. Somebody ain't delivered. Somebody ain't delivered. They took that as control. They didn't take that as I care. They took that. See, see what happened when you ain't delivered? See what happened when you ain't delivered? I'm exposing you. I'm exposing you. I mean, so see, when you're not delivered, you take stuff the wrong way. See, I can say I wish she would leave out the house and don't tell me where she's going. That ain't out of control because I don't care where she's going. I just need to know where she's going so I can cover her. So and then I know where she's going to be back, who she's going to be around. That's all. I'm not trying to control her. She picks her destination. What I want to do is make sure that we're communicating and I know that in case you may need me or I may need you. This ain't about no control, the way you go. Because see, then if you feel that way, I'm like, what you had? And why I can't know. I mean, what the big beef about? Why is this ant to turn into an elephant? When all I had, when all I want to know where, because you must be going somewhere. If you got a problem telling me where you're going, you must be going somewhere you don't want me to know. Now, now I got no problem. Why you don't want me to know? What is it about this? You understand when I say this thing can go on? Character. Do you consider how what you do, how it may make somebody else feel? Character. Do you know how many times I done checked myself, rechecked myself, rechecked myself to make sure that I'm doing this in a way to cause less damage? Man, y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all don't want to hear me tonight. No, everybody, 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 everybody in, in their lives, in their marriages, all we think about is what we want. No, in our lives, all we consider about is how we air crew, what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. I used to hear a drug dealers say that. I got to get mine. I got to do what I got to do. And I'm sitting there saying, why are you trying to build your family up? What family is you tearing down? But you, but you glossing in your, in your damaging somebody else. Character. God says, I'm trying to produce something here. God says, I want you to manifest, but I got to make sure your character can handle my representation because you represent me now, not you. That's my stuff. That's why you can't take it with you. Don't forget, that's my house. Tell huh? No, everything belongs to God. Let me just go ahead and say, hey, even the breath you breathe in belongs to God. Character. God said, God says, many won't sign up for this course. He said, but this is one of the main course that you got to take if you want your degree in the next level of manifestation. I'm looking at your character now. What type of person are you? Do you care about other people or are you just in it for you? I couldn't be selfish. I couldn't be selfish with my life. I, I, just, I just couldn't be. And I probably have gotten in trouble more than anybody trying to help folks because ministry is risky. You hear me? And sometimes, sometimes you can get hurt trying to help people. But watch this, but that can't stop you from going to help somebody else. See, 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 because you may find one that was just like you, huh? That just was waiting for somebody to say, give me a chance. Just see something in me that don't nobody else see in me. Just, just, just love me enough to make me love myself. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all, uh, yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah, maybe I'll find somebody just like me. Yeah, just love me enough to make me love myself. And, 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 then, and then I can have some character. When you die, how are they going to remember you? Are they going to miss you or glad you're gone? Is they going to talk about you until you get buried and then forget all about you after you're gone? What kind of character? Did you, did you love enough that, that you would be missed? Huh? Did, did you, did you, did you, did, 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 did what, what, what kind of person was you? I, 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 I just... As God take me to, to deeper depths and higher heights, I, I begin to, I'm, I'm getting it now. I'm not, I'm not caught up 
I, you know, I'm not caught up in, in, in a lot of stuff that, that maybe everybody else is caught up in. <laughs> what, what used to move me don't move me no more. What, what used to mean to me don't mean nothing to me no more. No, 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 no. Where, where, where God has me at now, it, 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 it really, like, I hate to say it, but it don't matter no more. It, it's just like, it's just like, God, what, how, what you, who you want me to tend to? You want me to be the elephant today or you want me to be the ant today? And, and watch this. And I'll let, the, I'll let the ants know, respect the elephants. Don't, don't, don't get in their way. But I'll let the elephants know, don't step on the ant. Because he's the God of both. I See, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I believe God is just creating something new in me. And just giving me a, 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 a new passion for the underdog. Yeah, because that was me. And I'll tell somebody here today, don't you never forget where God brought you from. Don't you never. Don't you never. And I ain't talking about where you told everybody you started from. I'm talking about the piece of the testimony you didn't tell. I'm talking about that testimony you, if we put it on the screen right now, you'll drop your head. That, that's what I'm talking about. Don't you never forget character. That's what God is trying to produce right now. What is your character like? Everybody want money. And God says, for what? You want money and God says, for what? Character. That's why the seed is so important. That, that's why tithes and offerings is so important. Because see what the seed does, the seed, the seed, the seed, when you release the seed, you're letting it know that money ain't got me. You, you're letting God know you can trust me with money because money ain't got me. No, I'll release it. And God says, you'll release it. Watch me give you more. Good measure, press down, shaking together. Because watch this, it's your heart that will release it. It's your heart. See, that's what God, God is trying to care. You, you, you can't be a person that don't care. You, 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 you got to go back and see what, what it, see, I had, listen, it, it's all, okay, I'm going to say this and I'm going to go to close. This is why forgiveness is so important. The, the, you, you, you must, you must turn in to a person that will forgive. Because if you don't forgive, it will turn your heart into something that will not be pleasing to God. And you got to be watch out when you're damaged. And sometimes it just take a while to heal. I done been there. I done been there. I done been there where my heart hurt so much that I had to pray in tongues and say, God, heal me. God, heal me. I, I done been there. But let me tell you something. You can't let that, you can't let that thorn with somebody. You, I see, listen, y'all. This is no lie. I knew a man who lived in a house with his wife and didn't speak to her for a year. For a year. That, that's, that's how long he held something against her. For a whole year. And I just said, you know, man, what makes a person heart that hard? But God says, I'm telling you now, I, I need you to begin to, to, to bring light to this because this piece of the gospel is important to me and a lot of people miss it and they think they can just go to the next level the way that they are, but I'm trying to shape some character in them. I, I'm trying to shape some character in them. So, 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 so they have a passion to give just as much as they have a passion to get. Come on, come on, stand to your feet tonight. I know that was a very popular message. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, stand to your feet tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for teaching us the deep things. God, I thank you for teaching us the stuff that'll change us. God, I thank you for I thank you for training us here now. Oh God, I thank you for where you have me at today. Oh God, I, I, I appreciate you. God, I appreciate. God, can I say this to you, Lord? I appreciate my tribulation. Uh, they teach me something. They teach me something. And as I go through them and persevering, I see they developing something. They developing something. It's a character, Lord. It's a, it's a character. What kind of person are you? What kind of person are you to the core? And do you even like yourself? 
But I believe tonight, I believe God used this as a surface message to start unpeeling some stuff in us. Oh, layers. Supernatural layers is being peeled off us now. There's a place right now. There's a place that God want to take us, but there's some stuff that we need to take care of ourselves. We, 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 we need to consider others more than we consider ourselves. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for going after these spirits, Lord, that's, that these principalities, the, these rulers of darkness that, that's trying to get us to miss the gospel by only looking at one side of you. But you made the biggest and you made the smallest. And God, I won't forget it. That's why we go on the mission field. That's why we do outreaches. That's why I always consider somebody that's big. That's why I go into the prisons. That's why we're always trying to help people whose marriages is, is in trouble. Lord, we know where we went. We know where we've been. And I want to thank you tonight, God. I want to thank you tonight for just using that small $4 testimony to show me something that was way bigger than what I could see. I want to thank you tonight, God, for producing character in us. Uh, Father, I wish there was more preaching on it. I believe this is the first time I've ever Heard somebody preach on it. Character. I've seen prostitutes have more character. They won't even steal your money. You can give, give a prostitute a bag and when you get back, she got it. She, she may have moral favors, but she got enough character not to take from somebody else. Character. God says, I want to I wanna make sure you're right at the core. I don't want you looking good on the outside, but there's some things in your heart ain't right. Because see, when I raise you up, you can't look down on people. Can't think that you're better than somebody. Can't forget where I brought you from. You, know what I said? you ain't got to forget where, don't forget where you come from. I say just don't forget where God brought you from. I want to thank you tonight. God, you keep chipping at the word. I thank you, God. It's about the word. It's the word, God. It's the word. It's the word, God. It's the word. If the word can't do it, God can't undo it. I want to thank you, God. I want to thank you, God, for showing me what means the most to you. I want to thank you, God, for showing me how you see it. All of us important. Both of us important to you. The big and the small is both you. Hey, and I won't miss the small trying to run after the big. I want to thank you, God, for the small things my wife do. I want to thank you for the small things that people do. God, I want to thank you for that text message that my mama sent me every morning. It's so small, but it's so big to me. I want to just thank you, God, because I'm paying attention to all the small stuff that you got going on around me. God, I just want to praise you this, tonight, God, and I want to thank you for giving us this word because it slows us down enough to pay attention to all of you, not just some of you. And I thank you that you will walk us down roads so you can produce this. I ain't complaining about stuff no more. I ain't complaining about nothing. I'm thanking you for everything. I'm giving you glory for everything. No, God, I, I just want to thank you, Lord. I, 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 ain't, I ain't complaining about the hand that I got. I want to thank you for a hand. No, God, I, I don't want to thank you just for... Uh, 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 thank you for my food when I said my grace. God, I want to thank you for our appetite. Oh, oh, no, God, I want to thank you for the small stuff here now. I, I want to give you glory for the small stuff here. I want to make sure that I'm not missing you, God. Because what I complain about is what I prayed for. Ain't that something we can complain about a spouse, but that was you were praying for? God says, let me develop character. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me develop integrity and honesty. Let me, let, me, let me develop that. So tonight, God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for surgery. I thank you for, I thank you for, I thank you for going, on. God, I thank you that you concerned how we really are. Oh, God, you want us to be solid. You, you don't want us to be uh, uh, 
cooked on the outside but, but raw and rotten in the middle. No, you want us solid all the way through. And God, I want to thank you tonight. I want to thank you for the word that cuts like a two-edged sword going in and going out. I want to thank you tonight for character. It produces something. You said the next stop is my hope. And faith is the substance of things hoped for. So if you telling me if I persevere, you're going to get my character to a place that I can handle the next level of manifestation. That's all you're telling me. And so God, I thank you tonight. I bless you and I praise you. I magnify you. And I glorify you. It's in Jesus' name that I say amen and amen. Come on and give God praise for the word tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, somebody give God praise for the word tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It's time for our tithes and offerings. It's time for us to give unto the Lord. Hallelujah. We can just get a bucket. Hallelujah. We can just pass it. Glory to God. I want to thank you, Father. I want to thank you tonight, God. Man, God will carry you through some stuff. He'll see, he'll put you in situations to see where your character is. What you in it for? What's your motive? Do you need a big crowd or you a preacher of one person? What you in it for? Me or you? Good God on my character. What you, what, what you really do what you do for? What you after? Where your motives at? Did you want to get married because you wanted to please me or did you want to get married because you wanted to please you? Character. Father, I thank you tonight. I, I just bless you. Just, just keep on having your way. You keep on having your way because you are God. None of us get past you. I heard somebody say we can run, but we can't hide. None of us get past your check mark. So I want to thank you. Once you finish with the other in office, come on, stand to your feet tonight. Hallelujah. 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 You know you're developing and don't even know it. You know you're turning into something different and don't even know it. You know as this word goes forth and goes down in you, you know, you know, you know God is developing something. See, this is what I learned too. Don't be in such a hurry. Mm. Some surgeries take longer than others. Depends on what they got to work on. Some things take longer than others. That's why perseverance and patience produces this thing. See, see, can I tell y'all something? Can I tell y'all something? I ain't in a hurry no more. The, the, the faster my life speed up, the slower I'm getting. The, the fastest things speed up around me, the slower I'm getting, because I'm realizing now, I'm realizing now, you're Mr. Ants, and he's just as God is in the ants. You're Mr. Ants. And I don't want to miss God running out the one side of him. I'm learning, how to, I'm, trying, I'm learning how to be sensitive. I tell somebody today, stop paying attention to what God is really doing. Not what you want them to do. Y'all ain't hear me. Please go with me in the spirit. Pay attention to what God is really doing. Not what you want him to do, but what he's really doing. Come on, stand to your feet. Let me, let me pray over the tithes and offerings. Father, I thank you. I bless you and I praise you for these tithes and offerings. I thank you for the givers that's online that's given, for the building of your kingdom. Lord, I thank you for taking care of your people so they can take care of you. Now, God, we just thank you for the measure that comes back, good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give into our bosom. And so, Father, we thank you now and we praise you. In Jesus' name we say amen and amen. Hallelujah. I bless your bless. Everybody's blessed. Not a season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing flowing my Prosperity, it's not a season, it's already on me. Glory to God. Um, just uh, quick announcements. Um, the marriage encounter is on tomorrow. Somebody give God praise for that. Hallelujah. Make sure you invite somebody. I'm telling you, um, I spoke to Pastor Foster earlier this week. They're excited. You're talking about maximizing your marriage. I believe we're going to learn some key things that would take. You, look, you got to work on it if you want it to be great. You, 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 can't, you can't expect something to be if you don't put the time and effort in it. To, we worked on that marriage. 
we, we worked on it. We, we, we came to marriage encounters and marriage, marriage fellowships because, because we want to we wanna make sure that we take the time to get imparted and develop so that we won't go and keep making the same mistakes because our marriage won't a mistake. We just had to see the mistakes that we were making. So I thank God for uh, times like this. And I'm telling you, as we invite married couples, invite a married couple with you. Also on Saturday morning, we have uh, none other than Dr. Vicki Waters uh, releasing her new book called The Sanctified Freak. And um, her, her anointing is in the area of intimacy. And um, I think it'll be a blessing to many Many, I, I, you know, I was reading the book and I was like, I didn't know that was in the word. I, that, right, okay. All right. Well, man, wow. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You need to hear this. And you can pick it up. She'll have it with her on Saturday uh, morning as well as at nine. And uh, we're not going to be long. We're going to get in and hit it and, and get on out here. So you'll have the rest of your day. So we'll be here. We'll get here at nine. We'll be out here by 1030. Same thing with tomorrow night. You get here at seven. We'll be out here by 830. No later than nine o'clock to give you time to go finish your date. We just, want you, we just don't want you to be in church all night. We want you to get the information. Then we want you to take this night. We want you to take this night and then really work on your marriage. Matter of fact, I'm telling you, for some of you, if you're blessed enough, don't even go back home. I remember we had marriage come, we didn't even go back home. We just went and got a room. We just need to get refreshed. You know, just, 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 just whatever the Lord uh, uh, leads you to do. But what we want you to do is we want to take a time out and pour into your marriage. And I'm telling you with these anointed people that, 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 that has experience that can really train us in some things that will keep us from making the same mistakes. Because trust me, the only teachers we've had was our mama and our daddies. And we can see how we was developed. And so I thank God for teachers of the gospel to show us how to do this thing. So uh, I say to you again, seven o'clock shop, you know how we do. We want to get right into it so we can take care of business, get what we got to get and get out and so we can enjoy the rest of that night. And so if you're on a double date with somebody, you invite somebody, make it a double date. Y'all going to have plenty of conversation after din uh, for dinner, I can tell you that. So um, we're excited. Doors open at seven and I'll be here ready to roll. Amen. Uh, don't forget monumental moments on Tuesday morning. And our G call is on Wednesdays, and so we'll, we'll, we'll go in that order. Come on, stand to your feet. Uh, you're at home. Stretch your hands towards me. I want to pray over you. And I want you to take this word tonight. And just ask God to just help you. Help you not miss him. That's what you do. You go home and you praise the God. Help me not miss you. Hey, don't bo shot da kata. God, help me not miss you in my marriage. Help me not miss you, Lord, in, in my walk with you, Lord. Just, just, Lord, help me pay attention to what you want me to pay attention to and not the things that the enemy tries to use to distract me. And so, Father, I thank you tonight. I bless you and I praise you. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us here tonight, over, over our families, over our, over our lives, over everything that concerns us, over the airways. I, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. As we, as we deal with spirits, as you go back to your job tomorrow, there's some people that's dealing with some things on their job, and I come against those spirits that's trying to disrupt you now in the name of Jesus. But when you step in work tomorrow morning, there's going to be a glory on you like never before. And you're going to walk in a different place. I pray for you now in the name of Jesus. I cover you by the blood, and I thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we say amen. And amen.